Okay, um, I'd like to try to convince you that um, these two systems um, have a lot of similarities to them. The same K, let's say that this is the same spring with the same mass, same spring, same mass. But one is on a table, a frictionless table. You pull this mass back and it swooshes back and forth this way. And the other is just hanging from a ceiling, same spring, same K. Um, and when you pull the mass down, it oscillates up and down and it, with the same period as that. And I just want to show you why they have um, the same, why they are, have a lot of similarities. The biggest reason is because they have the same restoring force. So the restoring force on this, when you pull it down, will equal the will be the same as the restoring force on that. So let me convince you of that here. Okay. So um, let's first take this the spring, the same spring, and it's sitting there right now, and it's uh, not being stretched at all. It's completely relaxed. We'll say that the weight of the spring doesn't stretch it at all. In fact, we're not. We're going to assume this has very little late weight. It's negligible weight. Now I, now I put a mass on here, and it does stretch this out, but I don't let it bounce up and down. The mass is just, there it is, it's stretching that out. So it's sitting there, motionless, and that would be, that's going to be our equilibrium position. Now it's stretched this, this distance from there to there. It's stretched, um, let's say, um, delta L of distance, so delta L. Now it turns out that um, if that's just sitting there, then if we come over here, I'm going to draw the free body diagram of this over here, then um, mg down is equal to the force of the spring up. And the force of the spring is uh, going to be the following, if this is K, the force of the spring then will be, at least in magnitude wise, it, the force of the spring will equal mg. And so the force of the spring is going to be um, K times L. Talking magnitudes only now. K times delta L. Isn't that Hooke's law? That's equal to mg. Now remember that. So mg is equal to K times delta L. Okay, now we're going to take and we're going to pull this down a little bit more to start it going in simple harmonic motion. So now that's the same spring, but now it's pulled down a distance A. So this is X equals uh, negative A, we'll say. Okay, so you pull that down, and the, the distance A is from is from here, from there to there. Let's call that um, distance. Let's call that X for right now. Let's just call that um, distance X. Okay, so that's an additional. Okay, so now what is the net force? When you let go of this, what is the net force on this thing? So I let go, and the net force on this is the following. We got um, mg down, the same mg down as before. But um, the force of the spring is much bigger. It's up. That's a big vector. I want you to see that on the thing, so I'm going to make that a big fat vector. Can you see that big fat vector? Okay, it's bigger than mg. Um, so what is the force on this? The net force on this guy right here is going to be the force from the spring. minus mg. Okay, but the force from the spring, the spring is stretched out not just a distance x, but also it's stretched out a distance of delta L. So the force on this from the spring, the net force, is equal to the force from the spring. So that's going to be um, k times delta L plus x, that's the total stretch of the spring, minus mg. So that's going to equal k times delta L plus k times x minus mg.
That's F net. But F net, uh, then if you if you remember, we said that the mg is equal to k delta l. Those are equal. That's why that thing wasn't wasn't um, accelerating. It was just sitting there. So if mg equals k delta l, then this is mg, which is going to cancel out that. And so our F net is just, it's equal to kx. Just like it's actually negative kx, if we're calling, you know, if I, if I pull that down, it's going to be um, negative kx. But, um, but that, so when I pull this down into negative territory, in order to get the force to be positive upward, I need to put in a negative in there. So that's negative kx. And that's the same as this system. This system, what's the net force? The restoring force on this is negative kx. So the net force on this system is equal to negative kx. And the net force on this system is equal to negative kx. Where x is not how much the spring is stretched in this case. X is how much, how far you pull it from equilibrium. So this X is how far this is pulled from equilibrium. This X is how far it's pulled from equilibrium. That's what F net is in this case. So this, if you want to know the period of this system, it's the same as that. They're both, they both have the same period. It's 2 pi times the square root of m over k. The only thing that's not the same for these two systems is energy. Here, the energy is oscillating between potential, elastic potential and kinetic. It's oscillating between elastic and kinetic energies. This, you have, uh, not only do you have elastic stored in the spring and kinetic because it's moving, but it's also losing and gaining height. So energies are different, but everything else is the same. So that's what I needed to tell you about a mass that hangs on a spring from the ceiling.